Hello, my name is Darius Villa, the Director of Research, and on today's episode of High Speed Rail, we are going to be talking about how High Speed Rail would save the world from pollution. And we all know that pollution has its dirty touches, from rising rates of asthma to disintegrating nature, like the calcium carbonate of coral reefs, which are, of course, important for fish diversity. We are depleting more oil resources than we can use. And you know what air pollution's dirtiest touch of all is? Seven million premature deaths every year. Isn't that surprising? And you know what's also surprising? How high-speed rail will actually save the world from all of this pollution garbage. Take for example, like in August, as I said in my speech, in the AAF bonds, All Aboard Florida's project will remove 3.5 million cars off the road every year, which means that it would save 1,100 tons of CO2 for every mile. Now that is big savings for the environment. As a matter of fact, high-speed rail uses 25 times less CO2 than an airliner. And high-speed rail will have an impact on domestic airline use. For example, on a domestic airline flight from Fukuoka to Kagoshima, high-speed rail will reduce commercial airline travel rates between the two cities from 42% to 17%. And you know what's more? Texas Central Rail will save 3.9 billion gallons of fuel every year, which translates to saving 78 billion pounds of CO2 in the atmosphere every year. So with all of these, with all that said, high-speed rail will save the environment, will literally save the world, and will literally really save your cute polar bears. If you want to see more ways on how high-speed rail can save the environment, please subscribe. Thank you very much.